So you've been talking at the UK Cystic Fibrosis Conference uh, about your project. So what does your work involve? So the main goal of, of my lab is really to uh, develop a new uh, therapy uh, for genetic disorders using stem cells. And you now, um, basically what we're doing is to uh, derive stem cells from patients with monogenetic disorder, including cystic fibrosis, and then try to correct the mutation in vitro, and then generate cells that could be transplanted back in the patient uh, with a therapeutic benefit. So what's the difference between the iPS C cells and embryonic stem cells? Okay, so embryonic stem cells are generated from you no know, human embryo, and at the very early stage of development from uh, in vitro fecundation clinic, uh, whereas induced propellant stem cells are generated from uh, adult cells you know, that we can get from a biopsy from a patient or blood uh, donation from a patient. But no, that's the origin is different, but the um, nature of the cells is very similar, if not identical. So how important is the kind of research in this area um, for cystic fibrosis research? So it's, it's becoming a major focus because uh, it's there has been few proof of principle now that maybe cell-based therapy could work in the context of lung disease and in the context of cystic fibrosis. So I think you now the past two years we have you now start to have the demonstration that probably you now using stem cells for cell-based therapy in the context of cystic fibrosis could have a therapeutic uh, interest. You spoke about the challenges in your presentation earlier. Mm -hmm. um, so what are the challenges that you have been facing in your work? So really the, the key objective is to you know, solve all the, the aspect and technical difficulty with the use of IPS in, in terms of safety, but also in terms of efficacy and, and function. So just to give you an example, you know, we can differentiate those cells into lung cells that could uh, be transplanted, but you know, we still can't really generate fully functional lung cells. And the key activity of my lab, for example, is to try to develop the right recipe that will allow us to uh, really differentiates human IPS into fully functional lung cells that could be then transplanted into patients.